Hello fellow sun enthusiasts, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today is classic movie Thursdays here on my channel, my version of Throwback Thursdays. Today's movie is a film noir from the 1950s called Where the Sidewalk Ends, starring Gene Tierney and Dana Andrews. They were reunited yet again with director Otto Preminger. Where the Sidewalk Ends is a request from Rit Dalton. Uh, he left it on my review of Key Largo. So Rit, thank you very much for requesting this film because I own it and I haven't seen it in so long so it was really good to kind of like get a refresher, see this again, and I have to say a huge thank you because I gained a new appreciation for this movie. Not so much the story but the way it was filmed. Before I get into why I appreciate it as a film, let me kind of just give you a little bit of a summary if you're unfamiliar with Where the Sidewalk Ends. The story is about this guy named Mark Dixon. He is played by Dana Andrews and he is a detective, but he's a detective that has a bit of a temper and he just wants to clean up all the thugs. He doesn't like any of the gangsters. He's got it really hard for this guy, Scalisi, who's like a big time mobster and used to know his father. Uh, Mark's father used to be a gangster. Mark doesn't want to end up like his father. So he's just trying to clean up everything and he gets into trouble. He gets downgraded and you know, his superiors are like, what the hell, what are you doing? You have to stop beating the crap out of these people. You know, you're gonna get in trouble. You have a lot of complaints against you. Stop beating up these people. Mark gets called to a scene where a guy had been killed by this other guy. Uh, his last name is Taylor. I forget his first name and uh, they, the guy just ran out, but he was at a party at Scalisi's place. So of course Mark is like, you did it Scalisi, you did it, and he was like point fingers. And then they found out that it was actually this guy Taylor who was out running from the police and from the situation. Off track Taylor had gotten mad at this guy who he had killed because his uh, ex-wife, Morgan Taylor, played by Jean Tierney, was there. And he got mad at Morgan too because Morgan wanted to leave. She had work in the morning and she's like, I can't stay, I can't do this. And he had brought um, the guy that he had killed in to, you know, like lose all his money and everything for Scalisi, but the guy wound up winning. Anyway, Taylor wound up stabbing him over an argument and all this stuff. And so now Taylor is on the run from the cops and they eventually catch up to him or should I say Mark catches up to him because he's a smart guy Mark but his temper of course gets in the way and he winds up accidentally killing Taylor um, when Taylor hits his head on the floor uh, Taylor was in the um, in the Marines he's a decorated soldier and um, this was you know during World War II he was a very decorated soldier and he has a uh, plate in his head and uh, he hits his head on where his plate is and it kills him so Mark tries to cover up and he tries to like get it to be pinned on school EC and to try and make it like he's not there and then of course he starts uh, falling in love with, him, uh, with uh, Morgan Taylor who is Taylor's ex-wife and uh, you know of course they got it they got to fall in love the two the two leads got to fall in love somehow it was a little cheesy that part um, it was it was kind of an interesting relationship because I think it was um, you know Mark felt bad about what he did to her ex-husband but he couldn't tell her and then certain things just spiral out of control and of course you know they had the code in place so Mark couldn't get off uh, you know free at the end um, he had confessed in a form of a letter that he had sent because he thought he was gonna die but he did and uh, his police captain was like yo you did this, you killed Taylor, you gotta go to jail. You can't get away with this. So I was like, ugh, almost. And you know, for me, I hate the code because it's like you want them to get away and you know, they kind of deserve to get away. Well, somewhat, Mark somewhat deserved to get away. He didn't mean to do it, it was an accident. But like, come on, man, with the code. Ah, that was frustrating. I gotta make a few points for where the sidewalk ends. I had, as I've said, I, this is the first time in a really long time I had gone back and I watched this and I'm more familiar with the noir genre. I've seen a lot more, like I, I picked up this movie because I love 
Jean Tierney and, and Dana Andrews together in Laura. And this was completely opposite of Laura. I, you had Otto Preminger's touches, you know, his noir touches, but they were so much more. It's like he built on Laura or from Laura. He and he became just so much better at filming and making noir movies. And Gene Tierney is as far away from Laura as he can as he can be. I don't know if it was the character or if it was the way that Morgan was written or the way Jean Tierney played it, but she wasn't a femme fatale in the normal sense of the word. You know, we're used to like maybe Jane Greer in Out of the Past or maybe Lana Turner from The Postman Always Rings Twice. We're used to that. But Jean Tierney was like her character of Morgan was very, very sweet, very kind, and you know, she wasn't bad like you know you would think of him fatale with a fatal woman you know and i really like that i thought that was very interesting you know to have this be a noir with jean tierney but she's not the femme fatale so it's like one of those noirs where they don't have the typical femme fatale in this at all i have to have to have to give a huge mention to otto preminger's direction in this movie it was so perfect and one of the reasons why I am very thankful to Rit Dalton for, for suggesting this because, you know, at the time I didn't appreciate film noir as much as I do now. And Otto Preminger's direction was incredible. I was like drooling. I'm like, why can't we see this today? And the reason why I liked it was because he would have the characters, he would have Jean Tierney and Dana Andrews, they would be like off to the side like this, how you're seeing like only part of my hand, and then the other character would be off to the side like you're seeing my other part of my hand, and he would have like more of the background in focus. So it would be like me stepping away and going to the side and having just this. I really, really liked it. I thought it was just so fascinating. And he was focusing on this background, like the noir background with shadows and light and dark. There was one scene that I was going crazy over. Um, Mark had come over late at night to Morgan's place. Instead of panning to the door where Mark was or panning to the door where Morgan was gonna come out of, he keeps the camera straight ahead, out the window, and you see a bridge with lights in the background and then all you're getting is the light from you know the, the moon or the lights in the city and i loved it i thought that was so great there were just so many scenes like that where it was just like half the character and then you're getting more of the background i don't know if i explained that right at all but i just thought it was such a cool touch because it wasn't Really, his, his direction wasn't focusing on the faces of the two main characters, which was like, whoa, you know, like you, you don't do that in, in old Hollywood. Like that's, that's unheard of. Even for today, you're always focused on the actor's face. But this was just, oh my God, it was beautiful. And it was in black and white. And I think that really added to it. Definitely loved it. Any, any of the scenes that he shot where, um, Morgan and Mark were supposed to be like close together and he got more of the side of their face or what have you more of the background like perfection and I really would encourage everybody just to go watch where the sidewalk ends if you're like a big film buff if you're really into film technique because I think this would be like a great thing to have on your mind when you're filming maybe you know if you need some inspiration so that was my review slash ramble of where the sidewalk ends a film noir from the 1950s and if you guys are like Rip Dalton and you have any requests please leave them down in the comments below and if I pick your movie and I watch it and I review it I will give you a shout out like I'm doing to Rit Thank you, Rich, so much for suggesting Where the Sidewalk Ends. If you guys have seen Where the Sidewalk Ends, please leave your comments there. Let me know what scenes you liked, if you really, you know, if you like Gene Tierney and Dana Andrews together. I have another one of their films. I will be happy to review that for you because that is another movie I have not seen in a long time. It's called Whirlpool. Whatever you guys would like to see, they don't have to necessarily be old movies, but if you have any suggestions, old movies, uh, new movies, anything on Netflix, whatever you got, leave them in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future Classic Movie Thursday and other Let's Get Reels movie reviews because that is what I like to do here. And as always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous.